With a show of hands, who here has a business plan? Okay, so about 30% of the room has a business plan. Um, so I want you to read this. A dream written down with a date becomes a goal. A goal broken down into steps becomes a plan. And a plan backed by action makes your dreams come true. So what I'm going to teach you guys today is um, the five must to making over 100 grand every year. Oh, oh yes, sorry. So we are all business owners, right? And we need to treat it like a business. So the first must is a business plan. If you didn't do it in the beginning of the year, you could still do it. Um, there is a website that I highly recommend. It's called the One Page Business Plan. You guys could download it for free on the internet. I highly recommend you write down your entire plan. Um, like Phil said earlier, you're 42% more likely to achieve your goal if you write it down. And something even crazier, you're 67% more likely if you tell somebody afterwards. So not only do I recommend to write it, I recommend to tell someone. So um, in a business plan, keep it to one page. Uh, the top is going to be how much you're going to make. And in the business plan, what you want to focus on are the strategies of how you're going to make your business, right? How are you going to make this revenue? So um, social media was mentioned, CRMs, referrals, you're all doing something that works. So what you're doing and what you want to do is what you want to write down. And in that one page business plan, the most important part is the bottom part, which is what are the action plans that you need to take for each strategy? So for example, the CRM. So are you gonna send an email a week? Are you gonna have them in a drip campaign? Um, are you gonna do, you know, what, what are you gonna do in your CRM? What's the action behind that strategy? Another strategy idea, referrals. Are you going to meet with a, someone once a week? Are you gonna to go to breakfast with somebody maybe twice a week? What are you going to do on a weekly or monthly basis to continue working on those referrals? Online leads, what are you going to use? Are you going to use a Zillow? Are you going to use Facebook? Are you going to use you know, the website that she mentioned earlier? Write all those things down and how often are you gonna use it? All of that needs to be mentioned because that's part of your action. And then the repeating business. Are you going to follow up with them? Um, like someone in another class mentioned, you know, they on every for, for the Valentine's, they reach out to them. So are you reaching out to your past business on a monthly basis, a quarterly basis, on an annual basis? All of that needs to be in your action plan. So step one is your business plan, which is a one page. Now, in the business plan, the most important thing is obviously how much you're going to make. And I don't want you to focus on the income because you don't want to meet a client and be like, how much money am I going to make? So, but you want to focus on the sales volume. So what I have here is a breakdown for you guys all to figure out is your monthly sales volume goal. So based on the split you have, the numbers in the red are how much money uh, based on the 100 grand. So if you want to make $100,000 and you have a 90-10 split, all you need to do is a 309,000 transaction every single month. If you want to make, a, let's say, 300,000 and you have a 70-30 split, just divide 300,000 divided by 12, which is your monthly income goal, and then divide that by 2.1% to get what your monthly sales volume goal. So if you want, you guys can just grab your calculators on your phones really quick and put, okay, this year I plan to make X amount of money, divide that by 12, and based on that, that's your monthly income goal. Based on your splits, you have there your monthly sales volume. That's the number you want to focus on. So we're not focused now on, oh, I'm gonna make 6,000 on this transaction, I'm gonna make 15 on this transaction. You're focused on, okay, this is a $300,000 deal, this is a $500,000 deal, my goal is to make you know, 2 million per month. So I need to get to 2 million every, every single month. So step two, now that we know what your monthly goal is, what is your weekly goal? Do you guys have an idea on how many people you need to meet per week? Do you guys have an idea of how many leads you need to get to meet with this many people per week? So um, in the sales industry, there's a formula that people use. Uh, it's in sales, not in real estate. So it applies to many different industries. 
It's the 10-3-1 formula. So it goes to show on average, you will get 10 leads, you will physically meet with three people, and you will close one of those people within the first few months. As you guys know, that number needs to continue for the numbers to grow. So that's an average number that I would recommend that we use. And how do we figure that out? So um, you get what your, let's start with the beginning. So what is your average sale price? If you get your average sale price and you divide that by your monthly sales volume, you get how many transactions per month you need. Transactions per month times three, because it's a 10, three, one formula, is how many people you need to meet with face to face per month. So how many leads do I need to get per month? It goes back to that formula, 10, three, one. So if you know how many leads you should be getting is equals your transactions per month times 10. So that's how many leads you need to be getting to be able to close that many deals per month. So you're practically breaking it down to the pure numbers. Of, okay, if I need to make, you know, if I need to go back and do a $309,000 deal and my sales volumes on average are 300,000, then I just need to do one transaction per month. If I need to do one transaction per month, then I need to meet with three people per month face to face. I need to get at least 10 leads per month. So this number will just multiply depending on how many transactions you need. So step three is to break it down to weekly. So you get how many people you need to meet with face to face per month, you divide that by four, and that's what your weekly face-to-face -face goal is. Because as you know, we don't work on a, you know, just two days a week, I mean two days a month. We have to work every day and every week. So the goal here is to break down the numbers on a weekly of how many people you should be meeting per week and how many leads you should be getting per week. And step four is success is never owned, it's rented. And rent is due every single day. And this is really where the business is. It's on your daily activity. So I'm not gonna tell you every day you need to meet with three people, but you know maybe Monday you don't meet with anyone, Tuesday you meet with someone, you know that you have a weekly goal of let's say three people you need to meet with. So you make it, okay, I didn't do it Tuesday, but I'm gonna do it Wednesday or Thursday. So focus on the daily activity and that's really what's gonna get you the weekly results, which then will get you the monthly results. And in turn, you're gonna get that annual goal that you were that you have. So these are focused every day on income producing activities. So I wrote down income producing activities and I will tell you exactly what I've done and what I've done with my team. And what we do is that we, every day you need to be doing this. Every single day you need to be doing at least one of these activities. Because what happens in our business is that we're so easily distracted building a website, building social media ads, doing all these things that might not intentionally be bringing in the money. So if we focus on the activities that are most directly impacted to bring the dollar, you're going to be closer to getting the money. So these are examples that I give. A new listing. Um, so I'll give, um, what we do is that we, I give points. So that way we have a points every day we need to meet. So a new listing, showing a buyer, a listing presentation, open house, a new lead, closing, an executed contract, and a network event. Those are all income producing. Maybe you do something else that maybe brings you income, but those are like the income producing activities that I think we can all relate to in our business. And if you do this every single day, at least one of these activities or two of these activities, you will get your weekly results, which in turn will get you your monthly result and your annual goal. So um, one thing that I think is very important in this business is following up. And I think it's what we all hate to do. And I think it's what takes the most time, but I do think it needs to be time blocked for once or twice a week for it to time block, like just to follow up. So, um, you know, the social media ads are great to keep in face, but it's always great to do a call or a text message or an email just to follow up with the client. You know, it's either your seller regarding how many showings you had or your buyers, you know, like what's the next step, where are we at? So I, I do think that needs to be part of your activity because right now, I think you're going to see the next statistics, and it's this. 48% of salespeople never follow up with a prospect. Yeah, crazy, right? 25% of salespeople make a second contact and stop. 12% of salespeople only make three contacts and stop. Only 10% of salespeople make more than three contacts. 
only 10%. 2% of sales are made on the first contact. 3% of sales are made on the second contact. 5% of sales are made on the third contact. 10% of sales are made on the fourth pack. And look where the money's at. 80% of sales are made on the fifth to 12th contact. And only 10% of people are following up with more than three times. That's where the money's at. That's why you have to follow up. Put that in your weekly activity that on X date or on X times, you time block just for following up because you know, we need to be stay in mind and get in front of people. And 80% of sales fit to 12 contacts. Most of us aren't doing that. 10% are only doing it. I know most of us are the 10%, but. <laughs> um, so the other thing I just want to bring back to the goal is you always be closing. So this formula works, it continues working. It's like a circle, right? You can't just do one month of great and then expect the rest. You have to always be closing. So not only when you're in clients, always be closing your ABCs, but always be closing of always have the transactions rolling because that's truly how you know, you're gonna continue getting to your annual goal. So that's all I had for the presentation. I, I made it a five quick must because I thought, you know, most of you guys, I know everyone has their business and I thought these were like the secret formulas that we've, we've applied and they've definitely worked. Awesome. Um, no problem.